Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is a 15 part video series showing you how to create KRKK house. Let's get started. So to start, let's open a new architecture template. So click on new and then click on architecture template and then press OK. First, we click on the save and then save it to the location that you want to. So I name it KRKK House. And then before I click save, I'm going to click on the option. So I'm going to change this to maximum backup of five. If you want one, you could just put in one. Um, if you're a beginner, around 10 to 20 is good enough so that you could go back to um, to the save files if you make a mistake so for me I'm just gonna put it five because that's safe for me and then press OK and then save so once you're saved now the units that we're gonna use so I'm gonna type in UN and then we're gonna use millimeters for this so we're gonna add in grid lines so it's under architecture and then here is the grid line so you can either type in GR or click on this button so I'm gonna type in GR to make it faster you don't need to look for it right here or click here so if you want to be fast it's better to remember the keynotes or the hotkeys so here i'm gonna click on the bottom going at the top this is the elevation markers so for example if you click on this it will go to the elevation that you want so this is north south east and west so for me what I want to do is I want to click it inside the elevation markers. The reason for that is so when I click on one of the elevation right here or if I click this one, I will be able to visualize the model. Because I received some of the comments that once they click on the elevation right here, they're not seeing their model. It's probably the reason for that is this marker is, for example, right here, or it's too far or something like that. So you can move this. So if you have a bigger um, layout, you can easily move this in or out, depending on how big your layout is or floor plan. So now I'm going to click at the bottom, going at the top. I want to make sure that it's 90 degrees and it's not putting in a different angle. If you want to zoom in, it will start with a number. So number one. You can either press escape and then escape again. Um, you can keep on adding, but it's easier to have a proper sizing or distancing so what I usually do is I press escape multiple times and then select this one again you can select that and then type in CO that is copy it's under modify command so here you can click on copy once you select that and then you can grab it again and now you can move it on the right side and then you can type so 6000 from 1 to 2 it will sequence it properly so 1 2 and then sequence it properly up to 3 or wherever you want so now i'm gonna click copy again this is still live but as you notice 
multiple is unchecked. That's why it didn't um, give me the option of adding more. So now if I click here and grab it here, if I put in the dimension again, 4440, and then enter. Now, I don't need to click on copy again because I can keep on adding from it. But right now, I'm going to press escape because I'm only adding 1, 2, and 3 grid lines. So press escape and then escape again. So once you have the grid lines, the vertical grid lines, now we're going to add in horizontal. So here, for horizontal, instead of numbers, I want letters. So I'm going to click grid line or type in GR. So once you type GR, now I'm going to zoom out and then I'm going to click it from the right side to the left side. But now it's starting to create the sequence from the last time that we do this will be four so now we're gonna correct that press escape and then escape again you're gonna zoom in click on the grid bubble which is right here select that click that and then now we're gonna add in capital a and then click on the space zoom out then once we create more grid line horizontal grid lines it will sequence it properly again so now this is still selected or if you not want i'm going to press escape i'm just going to select that and then this will be changed to this you'll be able to select the copy right here or you can type in co multiple is already checked because we check it already when we're adding the number three grid line. So it will uh, register the last thing that you did. So now I'm gonna grab that and then I'm gonna pull it down. I wanna make sure that my angle is 90 degrees to make sure that everything is aligned properly. Now I'm going to type in 3480 as you can see, it created B grid line. I'm going to type in 3716. That's for C. And then 2080. 1300. And then here, we're going to add two more which will be 1134 and then 4066 press escape and then escape again so now if you notice our grid bubbles are only at the top and on the left side for, for if you want to add grid lines on each end, what you have to do is you can just select and then check this. So you will need to do that on all of them in order for you to see each bubble on each end. And then for for some reason, if you don't want it on the left side, you can uncheck it as well. So here, I'm going to check this one. And there we go. And then now, if you notice, I'm just going to press escape again. The grid or the elevation tags are not in the middle. So what I, I can do is, you can even move this, so it's easy to move, if you notice, I'm going to undo that. But instead, I'm going to select all the grid lines, 
and then just move it in the middle like that so that everything is covered but here what I want to do is I want to pull this out and pull this upwards so if you notice you just need to press escape again you just need to select one grid line and if you see there is a dash line right there indicating that everything is unleveled and if you move one of them it will move all so now I'm going to clean the, this up. I'm going to select one. Sorry. Just select one. I want to make sure that everything will follow as well. So this one, it needs to be locked right there. So it didn't follow. So now... I just need to make sure that everything is aligned like that. So here, everything is aligned. So I'm going to pull it up and everything will move like I want it to. And then from here, what we're going to do is we're going to add dimensions. So what we usually do is we add dimension on each grid line like so and then an overall. Here we're gonna add dimensions again and then an overall. And then if you notice, E and F is overlapping. So to fix this, you will need to add an elbow. In order to add elbow, I'm going to press escape multiple times, select the F, and then here there's a zigzag, a very small zigzag. And then it will, once you ho hover on that, it will say add elbow, which will you click. And then now once you click it, it will create an elbow. And then now you can manipulate that. So to give that space, and then here, I'm going to add it again, and then we're going to flip it on the other side, just to have some separation. Press escape multiple times, and we're ready to add walls. Um, let's go to our south elevation first. Then from our south elevation, we're going to add in our levels. So from level 1 to level 2, I'm going to change this. So here, level 1 is at 0. I'm going to change this to ground. So... I want to make sure that everything is capital. So ground, press yes, because it's just saying that once you change that, it will change here as well. That's fine. Now, from ground, I want to change this to level 1, but I want to change this to 600. And then here, we could select level one we rename it to level one we have the same problem here select it and then look for the zigzag to add an elbow now you can manipulate the elbow like so now i want to add a level so from level 1 to level 2, you can go to architecture and then select level or LL. So let's add a level. So here, the only problem here is you will need to estimate the height that you want. 
So sometimes it's time consuming like that. What you can also do is select level one, select copy right here, and then grab it and then pull it up. You want 3000 for the height. Press enter. So now we have level two, level one. Now we could add in another level which will be the roof but we're just going to call it level three so here we're going to copy again grab it and then another three thousand for the height so now if you notice we will need to pull this up so one one of the reason that we need to pull it out is for example if we go to level one in level one we have the grid lines it's showing all the grid lines right here but now and then if you notice we're here in uh, south elevation level two and level t is not appearing on our floor plan what you need to do is you need to go to view go to plan views floor plan and then you will just need to highlight level two and level three so you could uh, hold on shift select level two and then if you have more than enough you can select the last one by holding on shift and then selecting the bottom for now we just have two so I'm going to do that and then press OK. Now, level 2 and level 3 appears here. But if you notice, in level 2, we don't have the vertical grid lines. And then in level 3, we don't have anything at all. That's because we haven't pulled this up yet. So now, once we pull this up, grab it right there and pull it up like so that's good enough if we notice level two we have still grid lines right here and then level three we have this one so that's the reason that sometimes when you go to levels it's not appearing yet so now let's go back and check all our um, elevation Make sure everything is appearing or stretched. So here, this is not stretched. That's why it's not appearing on our level 3. So here, once we stretch this up, let's go back to level 3 and it will appear. So here, we just need to keep on checking on all our elevation. Everything is stretched enough that it will intersect and then we're good again we just need to go to ground uh, and then from ground we could manipulate everything again so thank you for watching and i hope you liked the video please hit like and subscribe feel, feel free to comment down below